Last week during the murder trial of Preston Walls, jurors heard how competing gang affiliations and a disrespectful video led up to the deadly shooting at starts right here. And today, school director Will Keeps was back on the stand describing the dispute between Preston Walls, Rashad Carr, and Gianni Dameron. I'm Erin Kiernan. I'm Elias Johnson. Thanks for joining us at 5. The dispute centered around a video, as mentioned, that was posted disrespecting Walls. Keeps testified that before the shooting, he was concerned the video could cause conflict, but that Walls had told him everything was okay. Testimony then shifted to the capture of Preston Walls and the driver of that getaway car, Brayvon Tukes. Officer Brooklyn Dante first spotted that black sedan minutes after the shooting. Camera footage from inside the car showing Tukes heading west on Thomas Beck Avenue before turning south onto a dead end side street. Tukes stop and Walls fled into the nearby woods. And it was an officer's description of the arrest that prompted the defense to ask for a mistrial. And WHO 13's Roger Riley was in the courtroom again today. He joins us with more on that live. Yeah, Aaron, we're going to get to that mistrial in a minute, but first we're going to kind of recap what you just described. The, the in-car camera and the canine unit camera of what happened as they traced down the suspect. Hey, stay right there. Stay right there. Got a male running in the woods. There's other people in the car. Have a canine track. I got two males. I see your hands. There's one. To I need a canine. You want to say not you? Not yourself. Don't fucking bite you. Into the woods. Give me a second. Here. What's his name? Quiet. Fully. Quiet. You said your dog was a little tired. Tired, excited. It's still amped up of finding the the bad guy. Objection, Judge. Sustained. Not just the, the fact that he called our client a bad guy, that when I objected to it and you sustained it, he smirked in front of the jury. That's one of the problems wh that I have with the witness being that close to the jurors. But he smirked when I objected to it because he was sh to show somehow that he was the impression I got that he was proud of what he had said. That is a huge, huge problem for me, Judge. And, and I think that at this point, and I'm not finding it, I haven't f had a chance to research any case law on it, but I'm asking the court to grant a mistrial at this point because that is absurd that he had gone that far to call our client the bad guy. And so far there has been no ruling on whether mistrial, the judge wanted to move forward with testimony yet this afternoon. And a lot, today a lot of the detailed information from crime scene investigators, lots and lots of bullets, blood stains, stained clothing, uh, cars, vehicles, there was all kinds of things that they investigated to fill in their case as the prosecution continues. And they'll be back tomorrow morning at nine. All right, Roger Riley, uh, lots of video that we have not seen yet as well yeah. from that day uh, outside of our coverage. So uh, it, it is very interesting and compelling, and we appreciate you being there for us tonight.